Do you want to standardize the place names that you're using and you have the genealogy software program Roots Magic 8? Fantastic. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a number of the different features to clean up place names in your genealogy database so that you can have an accurate family tree that is consistent and might help you lead to more genealogy clues. Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee, and I am a family history fanatic who happens to use Roots Magic quite a lot. And I do like a number of the features that are in Roots Magic 8. So let's get started. So from any tab on Roots Magic, come over to Places. And you're going to see a massive list of places and they are going to be organized alphabetically. They are either going to be organized from smallest geopolitical unit to largest, or you can switch the order and we're going to have it be from largest geopolitical unit to smallest and organized alphabetically. The first tool I like to use is the unused place list. And what this does, is it shows me names that I might have brought in from other programs or merging trees or something like that. And I have improved the names or I have stopped using that. Maybe I removed somebody or changed the facts or changed the location. Who knows what? But there often is a very long list of unused places in our family trees. And Roots Magic makes it super easy to figure out wh what those locations are. Click on the three dots, and when you scroll down, if you see show all place names, that's all the names in your database. So click on this again, and click on show unused places, and you will only have a list of the unused places in your database. Now that you have a list of unused place names, one thing you can do is delete them individually. Select a name from the unused place name list, British America, Pennsylvania, York. Then come up here to the three dots, delete an individual location. Or I can do something simple like clicking on the delete bucket. I'm going to have a prompt that says delete this place. Click yes. So that one is now gone. Next, we can standardize places by directly editing individual names in the list. So let's say you discover that you've been inconsistent with the naming of your locations. For instance, you have British North America, Upper Canada, but all the remaining variations you have, you just have Upper Canada. This name is going to move down to be by the other Upper Canadas, and then you can check later to see if you need to merge them together. To make that happen, you can simply highlight and delete words. You can also add in a word like county or take it out just right there. Then every use of that name will look that way. So make sure you click the check mark to save. And notice it's now with the other variations. So make sure you have it all spelled correctly. So Upper Canada, Lincoln, Gainsborough, there's only one Upper Canada. The next thing you'll want to do is merge places together. Sometimes you use three different variations of a place name to talk about one location. And with merging, you can have one instance for the same location. So I'm going to search for Hancock and you're going to see a couple of things. First of all, sometimes places from a variety of different databases don't fill out their entire place name. And so Hancock, Ohio is most likely this Hancock, Ohio. It doesn't necessarily mean it's any of these other ones, but notice how I have comma Hancock, comma Hancock, and then I have Hancock County and Hancock itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this one, the without the county, without the commas, just a simple Hancock County. I'm going to go up to merge place names, and then I'm going to click on this Hancock, and then I'm going to scroll up to the comma Hancocks. So we will get this one, and we'll scroll down to get this one. 
Now be careful merging places together. Be absolutely sure they really are referencing the same place because boundary changes can make things confusing. Do you remember that unused place name list? If you had a long list like mine, you quickly discovered there's no quick way to quickly delete all of those unused place names. So I have a hack for you. So navigate to one of your place names and scroll all the way to the right and up to the three dots. Scroll down to merge places. So as you can see, the little screen hovers over the big screen. And then what I'm going to do is look for the name on the left. These are all zeros. The name on the left, find it in the middle and put a check mark. So again, Blue Vale Cemetery, Boise and Bountiful, Blue Vale, Boise. Ah, I've got to go across the several of them. Come down to Bountiful. Then I need Brady and Brant. So I'm going to go to Brady and Brant. And watch this. I'm going to come down and click OK. And now on my list, it just shrunk by a few. I still have the blue field. But all of those zeros have been merged into this one. And eventually when I'm all done, then all of these will disappear. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. There is something that Roots Magic has that Family Tree Maker, Ancestry, and Family Search lack, but I really wish that they would add to their platforms, and that is the Place Details field. This is where we can add the names of buildings, homesteads, cemeteries, and specific addresses. When you're cleaning up place names on Roots Magic, you also probably need to spend some time in standardizing the place details. Here's Columbus. I have a lot of events happening in Columbus. And then I'm going to go through and come down and look for anything that has a, dizzy, a zero here. Unfortunately, there isn't a show unused place details. So you have to do this as a manual scroll down look for any zeros like this one and click delete. You're going to find that a number of the tasks that you did at the top level location are going to be repeated in the place details section. For instance, merging. So you see that I have repeated or variations of the same location. So all I have to do is click on one of the entries that needs to merge, click on the three dots, Click on Merge Place Detail, and then in that pop-up screen, select the one I want to merge, and then click OK. So I'm going to repeat this process again, select the one I want to have all the rest merged to, click on the three dots, click on the duplicates, and click OK, and now they are all merged together, and there's one Phillips Cemetery and one Reformed Protestant Dutch Church. If that did go too fast, be sure to use the speed controls on YouTube to slow that down. While those tips are good to know when you just have a handful of things to clean up in your database, there is one tool that can help you overhaul the mess you created in your locations in your family tree. It's called the Place Clean tool. So we're going to click the three dots. We're going to come down to Place Clean and we're going to click on place clean. And there are a number of options that this place clean will look through. Is it all in uppercase, improper spacing, punctuation, blank spaces, capitalization, characters, and so forth. I'm going to click OK and run the report. The database will search all of your places. Once the report is finished, you're gonna have some side-by-side -side options. So this says comma, Allegheny, Maryland, no comma. Do you want to go ahead and have that changed? If you do, go ahead and put a check mark beside it. So this is an easier way of cleaning up place names. Let's go through a couple other options. Here's a good one. ED 102 Montgomery Township, Precinct A, Columbus City Ward, Franklin, so on and so forth. And so what Roots Magic has suggested is, I think you want to take out the ED and the Montgomery Township and put it here. Well, if you want to keep that, that's fine. Otherwise, you can come down, click on this, and you can clean it up by coming to clean place. So I'm going to take out 
the precinct A by highlighting, copy, paste. And I'm going to take out the Ward 14. And Columbus really doesn't go by Columbus City. <laughs> so we're going to take that out too and move it down below. Now, I might want to put the Montgomery Township in there as well. Um, it's up to you to decide. But this is what it's going to look like when it's all done, and it's going to have this extra cleaned location. Make sure you put a check mark beside it, and it will get cleaned up. Now there's some times when you don't like it. So DeWitt, Clinton, Michigan, I do want to keep that capital W. Uh, so all I have to do is not check that box and Roots Magic won't clean it up. Now here's a recommendation that Roots Magic has that have brackets. I told Roots Magic to look for the brackets, but I didn't tell it what to do. There's also the abbreviation of KY, so it's recommending Kentucky. So I'm going to go ahead and make it say Kentucky United States. Once you have processed all of those cleanup suggestions, click clean up check post and now Roots Magic will go clean those all up. Click OK. Now don't forget this final step. It seems a little nerdy, but it's going to make your database stay healthy. I want you to use the tools I'm about to show you to clean up your entire database. So make sure that you have the filed tab highlighted on the left and you can see the files across the top of the screen. And then you are going to click on the button that says tools. After you click on the button that says tools, you're going to click on each of these database tools. They're very fast depending on the size of your program. Just click that each one one at a time, let it run, and then you'll click the close button. So how many of these eight tools are you using to clean up the locations in your Roots Magic family tree? I use all eight of them. It can be a little bit time consuming, but having a healthy family tree can help you stay focused and not get distracted by all the strange place names. If you want to learn more about cleaning up your locations in your family tree, be sure to look at the video on the screen. And if you want more training, check out the description box for additional show notes, links, and more.